Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Fay Fives of retinols, except there's six or seven, obviously. Um, a little bit of housekeeping as per usual on retinols. It is by far my most requested topic recently. Cheat sheets, videos, product reviews, you're obsessed and you want to know more about it, which is amazing because it is the best ingredient that you could possibly use for anti-aging. The FDA in the States say that you can legally claim retinol, so vitamin A, and SPF, to be anti-aging and that is because one is prevention SPF and one is cure retinol reverses the signs of aging um, that is proven it's a given how effective it is for you depends on the strength the type of retinol you're using and the type of vitamin A is what we should say and how often you use it what else you're using it with lots of variations I have a few options here um, some you will absolutely recognize one is new and I will do an honourable sort of shout out to a couple of others that I don't have here that are available should you wish to, wish to start on a sort of milder scale. Um, some housekeeping. Yes, absolutely you need to get your SPF in order before you start using a retinol. Two reasons. One, it makes your skin more sun sensitive. And two, you don't want to do all this hard work and spend all your good hard earned money making your skin look good to then go out into the sun and age it again. So get your SPF in order. Follow the instructions on the tin as to how it says to use it. Most of them will say to use in the PM on a clean, dry face. And that means you cleanse, you get everything off, you sort of pat your face dry. I, I, I will use mine damp dry, but then I sort of use a very, very um, a damp hot flannel as opposed to a sopping wet one. So your skin needs to be sort of touch dry, not dripping with water, and then you put your retinol on. After that, you can carry on and do the rest of your routine, as long as there are no contraindications as listed on your packaging of your product. I hope that makes sense. What I'm trying to say is, for the most part, unlike everything else I do in skincare, I follow the rules with retinols. So what is it? Retinol, retin is the key phrase that you're taking from that word. Retinol is simply vitamin A, which is retin, in an alcohol base, hence retinol and the marriage. They've become kind of, retinols has become the generic name, meaning all vitamin A products, but it's not really accurate. We should be using vitamin A. That's number one. In a way that in England we say, where's the hoover, but it's a vacuum cleaner. Where's the Q-tip, but it's a cotton bud. So if I slip into using retinols, know that that does not mean I am saying that that product contains retinol. It could contain retinol palmitate. I will try and maintain clarity. Let's start with a brand that's been doing them for a long time and does them in three varying strengths. So if you're unsure of where to start, you can start with 0.3. This is retinol and it's skin SkinCeuticals. It looks like this. They do 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and a one. Start at 0.3 if you've never used it. Um, refining night treatment. This is literally just a cream. Hang on, I'll just give you a little looks like that. Nothing scary at all. And it's uh, SkinCeuticals, which is a uh, cosmeceutical sort of spa salon clinic brand, not, not spa, there's no swimming pools involved. Um, so it's fragrance free, as most of them are. It's a really nice one to start with. It's really gentle. It shouldn't give you any problem. If you have used retinols in the past and you have had an issue with them, do know that there are other vitamin A products out there that do not contain retinol, that do contain vitamin A, that you may be able to use, more of which later. So stop, that's a skin SkinCeuticals is a great one to start with. Um, available in a lot of places um, where they do facials, available some selected online retailers. I've noticed a lot of grey market skin SkinCeuticals, so go make sure you buy it from an authorised stockist. I would Google skin SkinCeuticals in your country, follow the official website and then follow the chain as it were. And if where you are buying it is not listed, this is key actually, let's just have a moment's digression. If you are buying, say, this, and you Google it, and you find it on a website, I'm not gonna name some, but there are some very dodgy websites out there that you should never buy skincare from. If that website is not listed on SkinCeuticals website, please do not buy from them, because it invariably means it's either gray market, which means it's been sold on, and thus is probably out of date. It could be fake, a complete fake, and it could be therefore either a waste of money or dangerous and full of things that aren't even listed. Buy of all things skincare, buy retinol and vitamin A from an authorised stockist. That was very ranty, wasn't it? That's that one. Slightly different ways to use it. This is Kate Somerville. She likes a bit of retinol action. So there is this one, which 
Oh, it never helps. Can you see that one? I'll help. It's Retosphere Micropeel. This is a retinol glycolic treatment. Again, pushing to the curb the, the, the thinking that you can never use acids and retinol together. You absolutely can. It just has to be the right ones. And this is Dermal Quench Liquid Lift Retinol. This is a cream similar to the last one. This one is a sexy spray. So this one comes with a cap. I'm going to stand up again. Trust me when I tell you that I spent a good 10 minutes doing this. Why isn't it working? It's broken because you do that. It comes out almost like a spray and then it foams. So much fun to use, sorry. It foams and then you just, and that's it. Oh, it also smells delicious. I know that shouldn't be an issue, but it does. More, um, sparry, but not, not, not greeny florally. Anyway, that is not an issue when it comes to retinol. That should not be something you concern yourself with, Caroline, so I'll be quiet. Um, again, this is a nighttime one. Both, both lovely. I've used both. I like both. I use both. It's all good. Um, I'm going to mention these two together. <laughs> one is by far, I think it's actually my most read review on the blog, if not one of them. Sunday Riley's Luna. Looks like that. This does work. This is a different retinol and I wrote it down because every time I try to remember it, it is hydroxypinacolone retinoate. I know there's a sexier way of saying it and also a correct way of saying it, but it's basically, it is not a retinol, which is a bit annoying because they say retinol on the front and yet they make the whole deal about this not being a retinol and it being sort of a cousin in the chain of vitamin A so that it absorbs deeper. Ultimately, it works. It does what it says. It says next generation retinoid oil reduces pore size, improves appearance of damaged skin and helps fight wrinkles. It does. It does work. I had a couple of complaints. Um, on Twitter and my blog post about how it contains blue tansy, but it also contains synthetic dye. Um, I think Sunday Riley says food dye, but it contains blue dye to give it this color. So although it contains blue tansy, I'm not sure how much blue tansy is in there because the percentage isn't available, but that's fine. No one has to tell you what's in it. Um, it's just that be aware that some of the color is, oh, it does smell lush. Um, some of the color, is not real, but it does work and it's very gentle. So if you're looking for a way to um, break yourself into it, that might work for you. Interestingly enough, using the same uh, vitamin A derivative is Pestle and Morton. Now you will know this brand from my hyaluronic acid uh, review. They do hyaluronic acid, they make a moisturizer and now they have Superstar Retinol Night Oil. It looks like this. I believe it is launching in September. This again, I'm gonna stand up just to show you. This is an oil like that, sorry, bear with, and it's not fragranced, just smells like skincare, I know that sounds weird. Um, it's slightly richer, I would say, than Luna, my hands are literally covered now. Um, but again, a really good, nice, gentle way to start, not too heavy going, and that is a 30 mil size. The Sunday Riley is also a 30 mil size. So these two are actually very similar. I'll be interested to see if this has any impact on the sales of this one. Um, who knows, but they're both, both very good. They both do what it says on the tin. I have two left, they're very different. This one is one that is completely different from all the others. This is uh, Zellens Power A, high potency vitamin A. It looks like this. Now, Dr. Marco Lenz will be known to those of you um, who have been watching my YouTube channel since the beginning. He is a very dear friend of mine. He is um, probably the man I trust most with my skin. We argue about things all the time. He says I'm an idiot, that's fine. I say he's Italian. <laughs> um, these are made, this is kind of next generation vitamin A. This can be used mixed in with your own creams. It can be used anytime, day or night. It can be used through all skin types. And by the way, all of the retinols I've mentioned, it's all, they're all suitable for all skins. Um, the big one that isn't is the prescription, but I will talk about that in a second. This one is literally the same as the others. Do a couple of drops out of the dropper. Yeah. Rub, done. 
The difference with this one is that you can use it mixed in with all your other creams, you can use it underneath your moisturiser, you can use it in your moisturiser, you can use it AM or PM. Um, Dr Lenz is not a fan of using vitamin A products without SPF or in the summer, so by his own admission, around now, he probably wouldn't be using it, but I use a really strong SPF. Um, it is super gentle, so it's a this would, well, this would be a, if if you're not really concerned about budgets this would be actually because here's the thing pricing with retinols because it is a proven ingredient and it works and a lot of technology and thinking and research has to go into retinol products they are always going to be slightly more expensive than just a day-to-day -day serum this one in particular if you have can you see are we focusing doesn't like me today. Um, if you have concerns about starting with something too strong or you want to make sure you take it easy but you want something that's really effective, this is a good place to start. The results are not going to be immediate. It's a slow burn but it works really lovely. It works really lovely? It works in a really lovely fashion. It's probably a sentence. Okay, so here's where I'm going to finish off because this is to give you, so I'm sitting to attention, um, there is obviously a big, big difference between retinol you buy over the counter and a Retin-A cream that you would get from a dermatologist or a doctor or your GP or whoever. I have been using this one on and off for a year, as you can see. This is Ketchel cream. Um, I have a few things to say about it. One, it's in a mineral oil base, so every time I use it I get spots here that then go on to leave pigmentation problems. I mean, you, you just couldn't believe it, could you? But it does work and it works so well that I am sporadic with how I use it. The fact that I've had this for over a year, and yes it's still in date, um, I use it almost as a booster and then I ease off and then I use it as a booster and then I ease off. The major difference between what you can get on prescription and what you get over the counter is that this needs your body to convert it to retinoic acid. And that's the same for all of them. They all need your body to convert their product to retinoic acid. This is retinoic acid at 0.05%. Yes. So this is 0.05%. The difference is that this has already done the job for you so as soon as you put this on it starts to work and the results are I mean within a week you'll be peeling if you use it especially if you're new to it if you use it the way it's instructed which obviously you should it's a prescription and here's the juxtaposition and where the English girls kind of or the British girls fall behind our American sisters I know a lot of American people and a lot of them have a dermatologist and a dermatologist will happily write them a prescription for a retinoid, a retinoic cream, um, it's it's no big deal. A lot of you already have one. In the UK, we do not really do dermatologists unless we have a major skin problem. If we have severe acne, severe psoriasis, um, things that need to be looked at, moles, things that need to be chopped off, they're not readily available on the NHS unless you have a problem. And if you want to pay one, pay to see one privately, you're looking probably between. 250 to 450 pounds depending on where you go and where you live here's the annoying thing all of these so i think this i want to say this is 85 i think this is near 100 around there um the kate somerville is all around the 60 ish and these are definitely around the 40 to 60 ish depending on the strength i think but i will put correct pricing under underneath that's those this, which is stronger than all of those put together and quadrupled, was £25 on prescription. Therein lies the big issue. Because if everyone in the UK had a really good cleanser, a really good acid, a really nice vitamin C serum, a moisturiser, and a tube of a, a retinoid cream that came from prescription that was retinoic acid, the skincare industry would suffer. That is absolutely a given. That is just, it's, it's just the way of the world. 25 quid, but it's going to cost you a couple of hundred quid to get it because you have to go and see the doctor. Or 
anything from 40 to 150 depending on the brand for something you can buy over the counter that isn't as strong. Yes, they work. Yes, it's a nice place to start if they're gentle. But if you have major serious concerns and you have, let's say you're not, I think, let's just put it into context. If you, are want, if you can only afford over the counter, that is fine because they do work and they definitely serve a purpose and you will get your money's worth. If you are the other side of probably 40, they're gonna say younger in the States, but they do, that's fine. 35, 30 if you're a smoker. If you are on the younger, on the older side, sorry, and you have visible signs of aging, which could be anything from pigmentation, I've got a little lotus flower shape here, which is from um, pregnancies. Uh, pigmentation, defined wrinkles, definitely. Just the general signs of aging, you know, all of that sort of stuff. It is much better, in that case, to go to a dermatologist, pay the fee, and get this on prescription. So, what do you do? It depends on your budget, depends on your finances, depends on how serious your skin concerns are. If you have real, true skin concerns and someone is telling you that an over-the-counter cream, and this, this involves anything, whether it's a serum or moisturizer, you know, will fix pigmentation and make it go away forever. It won't, that is not true. Um, will, will make all your lines and wrinkles disappear overnight. Well, it might do that, absolutely, but it would be temporary. The only thing that fixes a deep, deep set wrinkle is Botox. There are lots of, and I'm not trying to sort of be on a downer, it's just that it's important that you know when you are going into a beauty hall or a dedicated shop or looking online that you, you buy smart. Just buy smart. Make sure you're buying niacinamide, vitamin C, vitamin A. Don't be caught up in things that promise the world with one key ingredient unless that key ingredient is SPF or vitamin A. Right, I know that's been very ranty and all over the place and I knew it would be, but I just feel like it was time to start the conversation about retinol and then we can get back into the more detailed swing of things. Maybe the comments underneath you can say, well, I'd like more info on this, I'd like more info on that. I, like I say, I'll try and answer as many questions as possible, but it, please bear in mind, it is impossible for me to answer hundreds and hundreds of dedicated, big, long lists of routines. Things like, can you use them with acids? Yes, you can, but it depends on which one it is. You know, if you, if you use this for a week and then try and use P50 1970 formula, your face will fall off, literally. Someone close to us may have tried it once. If you use P50 with any of these, you're completely fine. Sorry, completely fine. P50 doesn't work that well with these. It's just to give you an, an idea that there is no definite fix, there is no definite routine. You have to find what works for you. But I will say, if you can afford it and you have signs of aging, you are not happy with your skin, go to a dermatologist, try and find one word of mouth, Go to a dermatologist and ask for a retinoid, a prescription strength one. You will save yourself money in the long run. If you have general signs of aging and you're in your 20s, 15, 20, 30, 35, your skin's great, you're not really that worried about it, all of the ones I've talked about are great products. If you need that extra help, pay for the dermatologist and get the extra help because so many of you who come to see me for treatments have spent hundreds of pounds on product and I end up saying, if you had spent those hundreds of pounds on a dermatologist and got a prescription, life would be different. That's all. Um, I hope that makes sense. I'll try and do some editing down below, but generally everything is suitable for all skin types. Make sure you use a good SPF and let's just start the retinol conversation. Bye.